But when I go home, you are worried like the wall maybe could come at night and wake you up. And then you have to run in the bush. Turning the girls into sex slaves and the boys into child soldiers. I never thought I would get out because each time anybody tried to escape or sneak, they would kill you. And very many kids just died. Nine of my friends, they were just shot dead, and then six of us made it home. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I just found myself winning three events and that's what changed everything and I won the three races without shoes. It must have been so hard for you. Even though I did not win Olympic gold medal, I think God had prepared me to win I had a gold medal in the humanitarian. <laughs> I told them, I said, I do not have money. Where are your parents? Then they said, they're all dead. I said, can I walk you to my home? My dad saw me coming with these children. <laughs> this is where we first met five and a half years ago. He was a runner. And I've been interested in running my, for years and years, decades. So that's how it all started. He did, but Julius started telling the story, and I'm just thinking, wow, you know, this is remarkable. There's, there's child soldiers, there's Olympians, and there's humanitarians, but I'm not sure you're going to find all three of them, you know, in one package. When we go to Uganda, we fly into Entebbe. Oh, these, these ladies. And here it is. So almost. I'm just there to help. Yeah, so... These are all the kids. This is the clinic which we are building. And this was the main... If there was a medical clinic, my mother would have not died. Make my tea, you know. You know, I brought the tea from Africa. Got bread, I got peanut butter, got honey. Then I'm ready to go. Almost. I'm gonna bring you tea. See. It's 
starve them. So put them on the metro. Then or you kill them and then you yeah. to keep. So you want to be able to share the, the memory of yeah. what happened. Yeah. And then he would cook them in a pot. You see the pot? Tea. Huh? You say something. No baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> None of them had shoes except me. <laughs> Which, the interesting thing is this. Which you, you never know, maybe one of them could be like me. It's in my heart, it's like a song. I really need to keep doing something good. I want people to see what one humble person can make a difference or can change the world.